creating samples from the impactor rack. The impactor rack gives random textures on every note that is triggered. One MIDI track, impactor rack, is fed into an audio track. Record multiple hits, resulting in very different textures and samples you can create. Create a combination of extended and brief sounds, which can be utilized later for the drum hits and to enhance various elements of a song with texture. Drop effects into an audio track. Using EQ compression to even out the sound and bring up elements that might be hidden. Maintain a simple sound initially to enhance its quality, allowing for more transformative effects to be applied later in the track. Drum bus can help intensify the impacts. Make sure there is not a fade at the beginning of the sample to ensure the impact is not weakened. Using EQ to define the sound and remove some low-end rumble. Start with drastic changes to frequencies, then refine and scale to your preferences. Using EQ compression to even out the sound and bring up elements that might be hidden. Adding the drum bus. The drum bus can be too heavy at times. So use the wet dry parameter to adjust. Drum bus is at 12%. Right now. Trim your samples. Making sure that they are faded in the correct spots based on what you want for the sample. Some samples will require a fade at the beginning, others may not. When you are ready to export the sample, select the sample so that it is highlighted. File, Export. Render start and stop time should match your selected sample. Save to folder, 